Hey guys, Pro Tour Dragons of Torcare is over, and the best deck, the deck that won, looks a lot like my deck. Um, I actually, my current deck, many of you made a few amazing suggestions, like Foundry Street Denison, I had that, that was probably the most commented card that I should add in my deck. Other than that, the deck looks pretty similar. Obviously, I have four Lightning Berserkers, I don't have the Attacker's Command, or the Become Immense, and instead of the Mana Confluence, I had eight Fetchlands. But overall, red deck wins. A $161 deck if you were to buy retail, assuming you had no pieces, but I'm pretty sure that you, every magic player should at least have the mountains, the forest, the one of Temple of Abandonment, the wooded foothills. Every piece of this deck is inexpensive. There's not a piece where it's over $10. Maybe Goblin Rabble Master, but that might not even be necessary for this type of deck because he plays two in the main and two in the side. Well, the Edleons of Great Revel, I think that might be around 10 bucks. However, most of this deck, taken as a whole, Ataka's Commands are under $4, is very cheap. It's commons and uncommons, and it is the best deck right now, which makes me so happy because I'm a big fan of cheap decks. And for a deck that's only $161, to be the best deck in Magic makes me smile. Uh, this deck, I mean, it doesn't even have Lightning Dragons, it doesn't have Sharkons. I guess that's the other big difference. My deck has kind of ex more expensive cards at the moment. But the deck can win, and that's all that really matters. The deck cannot just win on your Friday Night Magic, it can win on the highest level. And only costs $161, which isn't really $161 since you pretty much can trade into most of it. Outside the Goblin Rabble Masters or the Great Revel, like there's no card that is even remotely difficult to trade. Like Mana Confluence, I guess what it foothills, but like if you've been playing Magic, you should have those anyway at this moment in time. Very happy to see this deck uh, win at such a good level since it shows that you don't have to play a super expensive magic deck. It's nice to have the option, but a deck like this can win and beat decks that are far more expensive. Decks that are $1,000 in standard, which is so insane to me that out of all those expensive cards, this deck is the one that won. And uh, I mean, the deck list, if you look at the other decks, they are crazy expensive. This one is so affordable. Everyone can buy it.